Sometimes it's hard to spot targets in DCS. Fortunately, you can use a joint terminal attack controller or JTAC to direct you or your weapons onto a target. Once you've set up your targets, in this case an anti-air battery protecting a supply line, you can insert a unit to act as a JTAC. It is important to keep them out of the line of fire of the enemy and equally important that they do not fire to give away their position. I'm going to use a Humvee and I'm going to call it Axeman. Under Advanced Playpoint Actions, set Perform Task to FAC. Name the task if you wish, then set the target group, leave the weapon as auto, set the designation to your preferred method. Note that if one or more are outside parameters, then you'll see an error message indicating a problem. Change the call sign to match the unit name, set the desired radio frequency. You will need to test this as even if you're inside the limits, sometimes the laser still doesn't work. Just experiment with moving it closer to the target. Now, all you need to do is call up on the chosen frequency from your aircraft to receive attack instructions. Note that by default, the laser will be set to 1688, but if you have another human using combined arms, then they can manually change the code for you. Of course, you can take the skill to the next level by engaging multiple groups via the radio menu. The setup for each group is the same as before, but instead of doing so in the advanced waypoint instructions, go to triggered actions instead. You can then add each action to the radio menu. If you need help with this, check out this video on how to create an F10 radio menu. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate a like. Subscribe for more DCS content, and until next time, I will see you in the skies.